We return to Rimworld and somewhere out there in the fog amongst the world, it's a raid waiting for us, which could be great or it could be horrible because we could get killed immediately or alternatively, it could be pretty great because it means we could get ourselves an additional person for the colony, which would be fantastic because right now we've only got two hands on deck and there's a lot of research that needs doing. Honestly, if we can capture like a good researcher, that'd be a 10 out of 10. Send it frees up these two to obviously just carry on with their regular day. I mean, a good, dedicated crafter as well would be nice, because both of them have terrible crafting skill, 4.58 and 2.33. Um, might as well just say, you know, 4 for that one, seeing as that. It, it's only the uh, the full integer that, that determines whether or not they have a higher skill in it. So there's no difference between uh, 4 and 4.99, to my knowledge. It's only when they hit that 5 that they actually get the bonuses. I, I believe they've just done that to represent the levels. At least I think that's how that works, but don't quote me on that. All right, so... I guess we'll just stand at our kill box until we can make something a bit nicer out of it. And then we'll just wait and pray. We don't know what we're up against. We don't know how many we're up against. We are playing on Randy Ruff or something like that. So, could be kind of hefty. Let's see. I'm, I'm, I'm cautiously excited because this could be very, very good for the campaign. Or it could kill us dead. They're here. Why are you not firing? They don't shoot through the embrasures. Um, something worth noting there. Well, that sucks, because now we've got two boys that have just basically managed to close the gap immediately. Okay, uh, Lucas is down. They're fleeing. Take him out. Let's, let's take him out. I don't know why they're not firing through the embrasure. That kind of sucks, huh? I can't say I've ever noticed before. Man, that really does suck. Is he any good? Is he worth chasing down? He's got good mining. What about this guy? Good intellectual. That's what we're here for. Right, rescue Lucas first and foremost. Get her healthy and safe and fine. I think she's okay. But obviously we'll have to uh, we'll have to bear with that second. Then we will capture Alexander Krieger via who is gonna bleed out in one hour apparently. Oh my god! Okay, he's he's absolutely dead, isn't he? Let's be reasonable. Um, Lucas, how are you doing? Death in two hours. Now I'm stabilizing Lucas. I'm sorry. We're not we're not waiting to try and save that guy. Fuck it. It doesn't matter too much. All right. That kind of sucks. I didn't realize they couldn't shoot through the embrasures or just don't shoot through the embrasures. So that makes this whole thing absolutely pointless. Turns out, that's a little bit annoying, because we would have probably done a lot better there. Okay, well, that was good to find that on a very small raid, rather than a major, major raid. Because last time, we weren't able to check, because it was a black hive, and there were already people kicking around. So they engaged them before we did. Um, yeah, that really does suck. That, like, actually sucks a lot. Okay, fine, whatever. Again, it could have been a lot, lot worse there. We could have, like, straight up died, so I'm not too concerned with that one, luckily. Right, um, what I want to do then is also get another grave dug for this dude. Fingers crossed we'll get another raid soon, so it won't matter too much there. Um, yeah, we'll just dig a grave for this guy, and, uh, she's, she's healed up, right? Yeah, we're good. Okay, nothing to worry about. Jilp, are you also healed up, my guy? Um, oh, his toe's been destroyed. My god, well, that's basically just the end of things here. He's gonna go cure himself, or, or heal his toe, I should say. Let's dig this grave, get this body, body buried as soon as possible, preferably. Um, just so that we don't have to deal with that constant debuff as well. I, excuse me. Did I not just queue that up, or is he just straight up ignoring me? Hey, uh, hold that, my guy. There we go, okay. We're good. Yeah, that could have ended a lot better, but I, I'm not too concerned because, realistically, that's me assuming that the embrasures would work and they didn't. Now that I know that, that see, there was embrasures added by a separate mod, and I thought maybe the... Am I going crazy? Let me just double check this. Maybe they just can't auto get, get targets? Let's fire at, like, shoot at anything on the other side. No. Um, let's put down, like, uh, if we've got anything we could fire at through the embrasures. What if we go to this side and fire at, like, that thing? Nothing. All right, um... Again, I don't really know how to test it now. That kind of sucks. But there is, like I was saying, another embrasure added by this one. Um, wall fire import to allow shooting from relative safety. So we've got these two. I think I built these ones last time. So I guess we'll just build regular embrasures this time around. Um, to be honest, these are cheaper. What do they provide? They provide how much cover? 70%. I believe these ones are like 90. 99%. So they're going to be a lot weaker, but again, if they let us fire through, I'll take it in that regard. It, it does kind of suck a little bit that that didn't work, but that's not a big deal. No one died, and honestly, we got away from that fairly safe. Now, Lucas didn't take any permanent damage, did she? Um, no, she didn't. Very luckily. Jim, Jill, actually, Jim, Jill actually took the most damage out of that one, so that could have ended up with a lot worse. Um, let's also queue these up as well. Maybe, maybe get Lucas. Sorry, I interrupted him to get that body dealt with. Um, and let's also... Right, she's fine now. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay, well... That's not been a fun time. I'm a little bit annoyed by that. Fingers crossed, like I said, we get another raid, preferably soon. It is all down to Randy. So, l most of the time it's been thrown to ship chunks at us, which I'm not best pleased with. But hey, we won't worry about it too much there. So, what's the plan this time around then? Um, I guess we'll try and finish microelectronics. But like I said, I did want some more people to join the colony. Simply so that Jilt will be freed up a little more. That'd be kind of nice. Now, oh yeah, I remember why. 
Jilp I've set to uh, plant work for a while, just so we can try and build them up to eight plants so that we can plant some medicine. Because right now we've got this heal root, which obviously requires growing level eight. Yeah, minimum growing eight there, second from the bottom. So we've got a long time before we've got that going for us, which obviously kind of sucks a little bit. Um, dedicated hospital bed might not be too bad as well. Maybe build a wing onto the bedroom or something, and obviously making the bathroom a little bigger as well. Building a proper house, I would also like to do. And in fact, to implement that, what I'm going to do is let's go with a stone cutter's table. Um, we'll put that in here. I mean, anywhere. It doesn't particularly matter too much. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's put the stone cutter's table on this side here. Bad temperature, really? Oh, it's two degrees. Shit, okay. Um, heater in there probably wouldn't go amissing. This is going to be the workroom. It's only a temporary storage. We'll build like a proper you know, barn or something along those lines later on. A, a big storage area where we can actually organize the storage zones as well rather than just having all those one big sort of conglomerate unit. We'll have it separated for like weapons and equipment and manufacturers and things like that. Right, let's get this heated out with just while she heals up for a little bit more. Right, so what I'm going to do then is we're going to have, what have we got? Marble? Slate. Okay, of course it's not marble. It's clearly slate, you fool. Right, let's go for slate then. Make any slate blocks. Do forever. Or do until we've got an amount, I guess. Um, and I'm also going to say do it within a particular radius, because I don't want to go in all the way across the map to grab this. It's quite a hefty radius, isn't it? Um, okay, any slate blocks? Hang on, I want to check the radius on that one. Yeah, that's... Oh, it's kind of a large radius, but it's actually not that crazy. Um, we'll do something like... I think that's fine. That's, that's a bit more acceptable. And I think when Lucas has got nothing else to do, we'll just have a churn out a bunch of stone blocks. So we can build a proper house for them. Uh, hopefully, a lot of this furniture can just be straight up reinstalled. The bath can, the uh, obviously the golden toilet can, electric boiler there, so this all can. Uh, pumps can as well, not that I think we'll need to, because we can just uh, bring that over. Or we can just pipe it over with a little bit of extra steel, which I think is worth the cost here. This is good. It's absolutely fine by me. I'm, I'm happy to carry on with that. And he's going to make some more clothes. Uh, do we want to just let him finish that, just in case we get... I mean, it's, what, december right now? I'm going to suspend that build temporarily, because we're not going to need those till summer anyway. We've got a much, much higher priority jobs uh, in order. Why is he not... I thought I set a harvesting and growing to higher priority than researching. I guess this is anything time. He just felt like doing a bit of research. You know what? I can't fault him for that one. Are you alright? Do you want to just, like, get out of that very uncomfortable and filthy room? I mean, I understand that you're in a little bit of pain. Oh, she's almost done. We might as well let it go. Okay. And then we can also turn this into a prison as well if we have a separate hospital room. So that's... Oh, you know, an actual prison also probably wouldn't go miss. Why is this heater off? I must have done that accidentally because I have no idea why I would do that otherwise. There we go. We're good. All right. So we've got more than enough power. We've got the batteries that are full. I think building a separate house is, is definitely next on the list of the long-term tasks, obviously, along with research. We haven't really got a long-term task right now. So house is up there. We might build it just over here or something, uh, like recessed into the mountain a little bit because it gives them the most distance between, you know, the entrance. Downside to that is obviously it takes longer to get there, but we can build the embrasures over the river at this point. So to, just to slow them down and bottleneck them even further beyond this initial sort of kill box. That's probably not a bad plan. She has nothing to do. Are you serious? Why can't you... So? Oh, wait, is it too cold? No? Why is she not... Why is she not doing anything? Hang on. What? Okay, she's still not doing anything. Uh, you could grow some freaking plants, my friend. Uh, repair grow is up... Am I going insane? She can't sew. I, maybe it is too cold, and that's why she's not doing it. Uh, cannot grow bad seasonal temperature. Okay, there we go, right. So you can start it off, but obviously they'll just die. Right, that explains a lot. Thank you for that one. So what we've got to do over the winter as well, kind of killing two birds with one stone here, giving her an actual job, go stone cut. Nice, okay, excellent. And I might also put down a proper floor in this room as well, because it's kind of a state. Uh, let's go floors, and let's just go wood floors, because it's a bit of a mess in here, huh? And then we also want to go uh, make this part of the cleaning area. So cleaning area, yeah, area one is the cleaning area. We need to include the rest of the freezer, and we'll go for this room as well. I might even get Jilt while she's doing that to prioritize cleaning this room. Then we get the floors in as well, which should obviously help out quite a lot with the sort of beauty level of the room, as it's kind of a room that they're going to be spending a lot of time in. Cutting the amount of stone blocks we need for a whole building is going to take friggin' ages. And having Jilp in there all day researching, it's going to take friggin' ages. So putting them in a room that's kind of filthy and covered in dirt and, you know, lacking any floors, I think maybe getting some floors in there would help out just for the mood. But their moods are incredibly high. Why are you growing? Growing season here now. I don't know, September. 7th of December, are we? 11th of September. I guess it's just un un unusually warm. I think you're lying to me. Oh, corn, I guess, has a... I have no idea how this works, I'm going to be honest. I, I have absolutely no clue why we're allowed to grow right now. Am I going crazy? Um, oh, 7th of December is definitely not between April and October. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's just unusually hot right now. It's also one degree. Oh, God, is that a mad meadow, are they? Oh, shit. Yeah, no flea. 
Um, right, okay. This is our this is our incident of choice. You could have sent me another raid, Randy. Alright, let's get outside. Uh, oh, shit, it's in the door. Okay, that's annoying. Run, 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 run. Uh, these things are apparently lethal. Apparently kind of like really, really tough. Um, Alright, Jill, get down here. For the love of fuck. Uh, get back. Just run. Get some distance. Okay, take it out between the two of you, maybe. Okay, it seems to be... We seem to be very lucky here. We seem to be quite lucky. Oh, my God. You just hung vacancy signs on something. What did he just shout at him? Excuse me. I wish I was able to see that. because Oh, my God. Just she healed. Okay, it's only a couple of scratches. I was going to say, just she healed up. We've got to deal with that again. All right. Good patch her up. Um, prioritize tending to Lucas. He's going to get medicine for that. No. So what we have to have is something I've not mentioned at all because we haven't really been in the situation to mention it. The pharmacy mod. Which essentially allows you to set up medicine for different things. So normally you can obviously only designate between no medicine, doctor care, or best quality medicine, and everything in between. With the pharmacy mod, you can actually say, hey, if it's just a scratch, use crappy medicine, as we've got there. You know, minor wounds, use herbal medicine, but don't waste the glitter tech medicine on what is essentially a scratch that's non-lethal. So if you're in an extremely luxurious colony, you could always just set that to best quality medicine, no matter what. For us right now, I I'm, I'm, don't want to be wasting any medicine if we can afford it, because obviously we can't grow it. It's kind of difficult to get. There's some right there. Um, do we even have any? We don't even have any right now, more to the point, so uh, we'll deal with that in a minute. Does Meadow are they dead yet? Putting out in nine seconds. Uh, let's just finish that off. Honestly, just take it out, my guy. And then let's haul that and eat it. Yeah, we might be able to get some lavish meals from this. Thank you, Chocobo friend. Uh, let's queue that up afterwards. How much food are we going to get out of that? What does that drop? Bird skin. Okay, that's understandable. That's a fair amount of food. That's actually genuinely not bad. There we go. That's what I was after. Nice. We got ourselves some fine meals there. All we had to do was uh, get Lucas almost killed once again. Fantastic news. I'm just going to keep cooking. I'm, I'm more than happy to have him do this for a while. Oh, that's going to cook a lot of meals as well, my guy. We are, we are good for a long time with that. Man, do I even really need to be doing this right now? Because that mood is already so high. It seems a little bit of overkill to me, but that's okay. Nothing to worry about. Bullets. Bullets are another thing to do long term, but I feel like a house is fairly more important than bullets. I know that's not very American of me to say that. War Merchant from the Orange Duck, J J Joshku. <laughs> Can I rename these guys? Is there a mod that lets you rename other colonists? Something I, my, my English tongue can pronounce. Like, Bonitspra, or whatever the hell we've named some of our other colonies in these crappy other, crappy other series. Alright, go to bed, you two. Now, we've got visitors. It's not really worth trading with them right now, because I don't think we have much silver, do we? We've got, what, 593? Oh, I guess they could have something. I'm going to wake him up early, see what they've got. Um, termite, hello. Have you got anything else? Oh, is it just... Oh, here we are. Okay. Um, trade with Bosto. Hello, Bosto. He has an Aurox, uh, which is basically just like an ox. Dinornis, uh, herbal medicine. Ooh, it's kind of expensive. They're asking 12 silver per piece. I'm not doing that. Right, sell them these clubs. Ricopo, obviously we've got our guns there. We can sell them, or we can sell them our shirts and things that we've just made. Okay, he's also got tactical vest. Now those let you, what was it, reload quicker, but at the cost of speed? Yeah, I mean, it's good. Oh, you can also just carry more as well. Bulk capacity plus 30. I think we'll just sell that and forget about it too much. There we go. Okay, they're, they're actually... Uh, they're actually getting down to business. Well, there was a, there was a bull in the room. I guess that's just what Jill and, uh, Jill and Lucas are into. Another kind of, uh, downside to the fog of warm up there is we can see where they are just based on their breathing. If it's cold enough outside, we can see based on, uh, you know, like their breath condensing. That's a little bit strange, but hey. Why are you planting crops, my guy? Can someone explain this to me in the comments? Like, it's three degrees. I can corn survive in three degrees? Is that just what it is? Minimum growth temperature at zero. Okay, so that probably explains that one then, huh? So if it falls below that, then I assume it won't be growing season. We might just be being lucky during the uh, the temperature right now during the season. Job's going to do a little bit of maintenance on all of our buildings so that we don't have to worry about, uh, you know, spending components, things like that. And then these two hopefully going to start stone cutting. Is there much point in doing this? Because if we get cold snaps, we're all just going to die anyway. Um, they're growing strawberries when it's 12 degrees outside in December. I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure that's not how that works. Spider recruitment, real shame you didn't get the other guy then, huh? Oh, well. Now, we, now we've now we hopefully dealt with the embrasure problem. What I'm actually going to do is test it. Um, sorry, you two. You have uh, basically volunteered right now. Okay, Jill, come stand over here. Uh, Lucas, if you could shoot Jill for me. Put on speed one. Yeah, she can definitely shoot him now. Yeah, she can definitely shoot him now. Okay. Good to know those embrasures work. That was a test well done. Thank you, team. All right. Um, probably not the safest. Where the hell is she going? Stargazing. Well, thank God that she went all the way through the maze across the river to go and lie down. Now, she's going to be annoyed she's not going to get enough rest because it's going to take her about four hours to get home. So, how are we doing in terms of bricks? How many have we... Oh, careful. How many have we cut right now, then? 20. 
probably not going to be enough for a house, I'm going to be honest with you. Could always build it into the mountain and smooth the walls out, which obviously gives a little bonus as well. But I kind of want to have a separate uh, building entirely so we don't get infestations and bugs and that type of thing with the overhead mountain. Either way, um, let's go back up to speed. Four things is bedtime. You two have a nice nap. Their mood is like super high all the time now, huh? Unsightly environment? Why? What, what do you mean? What's unsightly about this? Oh, the bathroom. They're not cleaning the bathroom. That doesn't matter too much. Hungry? Not my problem. You've got plenty of fine meals there. Some nice frozen meals. <laughs> Never really uh, occurred to me in Remold why that was the case. I guess they always eat frozen meals, don't they? It's not like they're putting that in the oven or a microwave or something. It's a little strange. Uh, maybe they stay warm in the oven? In, in the freezer? That would, would not make much sense either. I have no idea. Anyway, uh, 75 plastic. Whoa, plus another 45 there. I didn't realize we had so much. I knew we had enough for a multi-analyzer, but... Oh, you know what? We had another ship chunk, didn't we? Another plastic ship chunk drop at the end of last episode. That's pretty great. All right. You guys plant all the crops. Thank you for that. Probably an absolute waste of time, like I was saying before. Um, Lucas, why can't you do anything? Why can't she make... Oh, it's all granite. Oh, my God. It's actually all granite. No, that's slate chunks right there. Hey, uh, get the fuck to work. Why is she not doing anything? Okay, stone cut higher priority. Oh my god, I set until do until we've got... Okay, boy, that explains a lot. Um, let's do it until we've got like 250. And then we'll unpause at... What do you think? Like 50? Oh, I've got to be careful here. I don't hit the stop recording button. Let's go for 50 instead. So unpause at 50. Pause when satisfied. Okay, perfect. Right. Nice. Let's try that then. I'm not sure if that's any good, but we'll, we'll give it a go for now. We'll just have a drop those on the floor. Save a little bit of extra time there. There we go. So they both got two long-term tasks, which is kind of what I like as a catch-all job there, just in the background. Really sucks that they've got nothing to do, because that's just wasting time. So this is going to help out, hopefully, quite significantly. Plus, then, I guess... Hang on. Could we not spin this around and they can share the same chair? I don't think that's how that works at all, is it? Might work. I don't know. So on each other's laps as they do each other's work. Could be a bit strange. Um... But, you know, I, I kind of want them sitting near each other because maybe they'll be able to talk as they work. So it will help with social. I don't know. Either way, um, this is fine. This is good. Like I said, we've got two long-term tasks there. How much have we got? 80. So we can start planning out for the house now as well. So let's go slate walls. Um, and I'm probably just going to build straight across, you know, build the house into or around this mountainside. Um, and sort of have the farms out in front of the house there. So I'm just going to go like that probably. 125 doesn't matter too much. We got some doors down as well. I'm just going to keep that out of wood because otherwise slate is way too slow. Do something like that. There we go. All right. So this, we want a larger bathroom. We want a larger bedroom. We actually want a recreation room as well. So it counts as separate uh, bonuses to their mood, which is my primary reason to do this. Could smooth the walls, I guess. For building it like this, there's no reason not to, huh? Um, how long does it take? I'll, I'll see how that... It's going to look ugly as hell, and I apologize for that in advance, but we'll see how long it takes, and I'll sort of judge based on that. If it's quicker for us to smooth the walls, rather than going back and forth getting slate constantly, but not a bad idea, huh? Um, you could also smooth the granite outside. Now, I believe this also gives a beauty bonus, doesn't it? This is probably worth doing in that case. Right, let's do that. Um, all right, there you go. And then let's have you boys... I think Jilt will go work on that, though, because, it, yeah, it counts as construction. Um, what's the beauty bonus like on that one? Two? Same as a carpet? Yeah, maybe not in that case. I believe a carpet's two anyway. I'm going to cancel that temporarily. Um, I'm not so good at the, you know, the whole room min-maxing thing, especially not with the smoothing, because that was sort of came out after I stopped playing room mode for quite a few months. So this is, uh, honestly, I'll be honest, this is more or less a new thing to me, you know. Um, I, I rarely have used this. I don't have too much experience with it. Let's get rid of all of this crap as well. There we go, that's gone. All right, so, so if it's like super great, you know, my apologies. I didn't realize how good it was. But I'm going to smooth the walls out here just so we can save a little bit on that. All right. This could be great. 32 years old. She's a geologist. So maybe she's got high intellectual. If nothing else, she's got high mining. Two penitents, one warrior. We may be able to able to get some prisoners. Welcome aboard. Setsuko. Setsuko Fertile. Say no more. She does have 12 mining. She's also got 8 cooking, which is fantastic news. All right, Jump. Congratulations. You are sacked, my friend. Uh, Okay, let's... Give her a little bit more skill there. Do we have a weapon we can throw at her? That's the real question right now. Um, oh my god, is she also about a doctor? Seven? <gasps> she is! Oh my... Okay, this is filling a lot of niches that I'm very happy to get. Alright, so let's uh, put some more points in that. She's also a very, very good miner, so she can have those as well. Harvesting, growing, that can be your sort of secondary job. We won't worry about brewing so much. Um, plant cutting can always be a number one for everybody. Not too interested in that one. That one, that can go to a two as well. Hauling, cleaning can be three. That's good. All right. Uh, do we have a weapon for you, Setsuko? Probably not. Uh, no, we have guns, but no bullets. Okay, Jill and Lucas. Let's get you boys squatted up. Let's go. Oh, man. It's a shame that tree's in the way. Right. Please hurry up. Uh, we might be able to very, very quickly craft her a bow and arrow. 
uh, while the other two are sort of holding down the fort. Let's give it a go then. So production, we want to go crafting spot, and let's see if we can't quickly, quickly get one done. Um, craft bow, and let's craft... Do we have any arrows just lying around? Doesn't look like it, that's a shame. Alright, bills, we've, we've got one, obviously, but I feel like she might live a little bit more than that. So what's streamlined arrows? Well, Rika, bow, got it, and then we just want to make regular arrows here. She assigns crafting, probably not, so we'll give her a level 4 in that one, and go. Alright, raid, here we go. Tries people from the Orange Ravel... <laughs> Orange Ravel? Orange Raven, uh, Viera have arrived nearby. They're attacking immediately. Should be able to get through there and hopefully craft a bow, and maybe one set of arrows before they get here, but I'm not super confident. Let's see how we go. Okay, good luck, team. Oh, God, here they come. Right, slower. Nice, that's working pretty well. I like that. Suppressed. Good, good, good. What are they doing? They seem fairly confused. All right, let's pull back a little bit. Get across the river. Give her a little bit more time. I don't think we're going to have to do it in time, are we? Let's pull across. Now, they are injured, so these ones are going to be very, very slow. If we can injure this guy. Okay, run. I need to skin you alive. Do you seriously say that? Oh, they're suppressed as well. Hey, this works out pretty goddamn well, huh? Um, all right, to attack. What are you doing? Hey, pull back. Where's your weapon? Why can't she use her bow? Oh, she's out of arrows. Oh, shit, she's out of arrows. Okay. Uh, kind of sucks. I didn't even really think about that, to be honest with you. Um, what have we got for weapons, then? Oh, he's actually trying to break down the door. Well, that's good news. Okay, open fire. You might as well stand back a little bit. There we go. Good shot. Uh, get in there and punch him. Come on, take him out. Between the two of you, surely you can punch. Nice. Okay, get that steel club. Move forward. Where are the other ones? Let's get some vision. Now, these ones should be quite easy to take out because they're so slow. I have full confidence in Jill at this point. How are you doing? What, uh, actually, finish your crafting there, you fool. Okay, come on. Please hurry up. They're fleeing. All right, we've got one down. We've got two down, actually. Right, fire at her. Take her out. Oh, come on. Jill. Come on, Jill. Oh, come on. You've got to, you've got to do this. He's such a bad shot. Nice. Oh, there we go. Okay. What have we got then? We've got intellectual crafting, melee, and cooking major passion. This person has good crafting. I did say we needed a good crafter. And then this person has incredible crafting. Bleeding out in two hours. Right. Okay. First things first then. Rescue or capture, I should say. Let's turn that into a prisoner bed. Oh, God. Thank God I'm building that new house, sir, because we are quickly in the need for uh, new buildings here. Right. Can you... All right. Um, so let's get that done. Nice. Okay, so you get ready to quickly help these people. Um, let's put down a couple of sleeping spots and actually just capture the other ones as well. Anybody's better than nobody at this point, I would say. Well, we're still so early in the game, but man, this could be a massive, massive expansion for the colony. Right, capture them all. Um, so Jilp is going to bring this one in. I'm going to leave them here so they can very, very quickly tend to them, because this person's obviously the better, uh, the better doctor. No, 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 no. Just give them doctor care for now. No medical care. No, no, no. Doctor care. There we go. All right, set Suko. Uh, Prioritize tending. Jilp, I want it to capture the other one. Right, so get down here. Let's go capture the other one. Okay, we should be fine with this, I think. So, capture. Lucas is going to stand there menacingly. In fact, let's go ahead and reallow all these arrows. So, I've learned something very important there. Uh, ammo. Checking ammo before each, or, or frequently checking ammo, I should say. Just generally. Probably not a bad plan, huh? Now, we may have to move Jilp and Lucas into here, unfortunately. Or we have to move into this other person in with Jilp and Lucas. Uh, Kara's die caused blood loss. Not really much of a shame there. I'd rather keep focus everything on keeping this one person alive. Right, clean the blood. Hey, uh, do you want to tend to the other one? Nope, that's not what I wanted. There should be a way to... Can we default set uh, prisoners to... I'm going to say doctor care for now. Just because we lack the medicine. But I'll change that later on when we can. Alright, already... Or not. Oh, so that doesn't cancel the pre-existing job, huh? Alright, doesn't matter too much. I didn't really want the other two anyway, because they really had no discernible skills there. So we won't worry about that too much. Uh, I don't want to get too many people too quickly. Otherwise, the mood's going to be quite difficult to balance. Let's get these people uh, buried ASAP. There we go. Alright, nice. Could have been a lot worse. Setsuku already doesn't have a bed, so managing two others as well. Or th potentially, I guess, four new colonists. Could have been a kind of a, a bit of a pain in the ass there. Now, we do definitely want to get that other person. In fact, we've got inspired recruitment, don't we? Holy shit. Uh, Jilt, my guy, come down here, and then we go, uh, prisoner, and then we say recruit, and then you are going to be mine in no time at all. And remember, like I said a couple of episodes ago, no difference between recruiting and, well, that's, uh, so something's happening right now. Pigs join. Oh, Randy, that's a kind gift. Okay, I'm pretty happy about that one. Uh, zone, let's go. Area two is for animals, so I'll just let them go anywhere on the farms, I guess. Oh, you know what? Maybe not the food itself, but they can pretty much wander around anywhere. I'm, I'm fine with that. They're pigs at the end of the day. We could make a pig, uh, actually, rather than burying the corpses then, let's make a uh, pig room for 
Uh, corpses will allow... I don't think pigs eat rotten corpses, do they? I might be wrong on that one. Um, Human-like corpses, done. Honestly, fit into the pigs, Errol. Okay, you have to... You have, what is it, grind up the teeth, though? I don't remember. Right, grind up the bones. Goku's gotten sick in his torso. I hate it when I get sick in my torso. Right, let's also get a bed for you. Oh, man, it's a lot to do all of a sudden. Suddenly, everything. Uh, Quartz, Okay, I'm happy to give you herbal medicine, because keeping you alive is going to be kind of ta tantamount here. That's, a, sorry, paramount. Uh, this is going to be a big, big get if we can recruit this person with his huge crafting. Right, let's get those bodies over there, and let's feed them to the pigs. So let's clear uh, area, what is it, area two. I want to take them out of the freezer. I also want to take them off of the farm. So get out of here, pig. Right, gone, and gone, and not for you, and those are not for you either, and those are not for you, and we'll also clear this one off preemptively, even though we haven't got anything growing there. Animals, you are allowed, oh nice, we actually got three pigs out of that, and one, obviously one sow as well, so two male pigs and one female pig. Those can eat the bodies as far as I'm concerned, hopefully it won't upset them too much having people unburied there, but might not be a big deal. We could always wall across it, that way they definitely won't see it, you know what, I'm going to do that. Just to, uh, just to ensure that they're not upset about having some random bodies lying around. Okay, so this house is going to be my top priority. Luckily, they're working on it straight away, so that works out pretty well for us. Carpet making? How long have we got till that one? We're going for microelectronics first. I'm going to gonna swap them out. I'm, I'm going to cancel microelectronics. Excuse me. I'm, there we go. I'm going to cancel microelectronics. Let's go for carpet making, then microelectronics. Just because we've got so much cloth. Save on... Uh, and I don't want to use wood anymore. It's too, too dangerous. Carpet making. Right, so get you, and then we go... Um, uh, electronics. There we are. Let's queue that one up. Nice. Okay. That'll do for now. How you doing? Low mood. Right. Let's get, uh, Warden. Let's get Jilp on that instead, because obviously he has inspired recruitment. And then we need some bedrooms pretty goddamn quick. Oh, Jilp and Lupus are getting married in the bathroom. Now they've got someone to officiate, I guess, and be, uh, be a witness. There we go. What a night. They were married before the holy golden toilet. Praise be. Praise be to the Colossal Aero Fleet. Oh, that's not nothing else to worry about. It's added by the Alpha Animals one. It's just sort of a passive creature that flies around. And if there's, you might be able to tame it. I'm not entirely sure what the point of it is, to be honest with you. Ape, Chief of the Orange Duck Tribe, is what I'm calling it from now on. Sent us a message. Apparently, Bandit's based. Okay, so they're going to give us a Psychic. Oh, an Animal's Neuro Trainer Mech is pretty hefty, because we don't have anybody with an Animal skill. Seven enemies, though. Maybe not. Maybe not when I'm still so early into learning how combat extended works. So I, th I think that'll be a no from me, Chief. You need a sleeping spot. You should like sleep in the kitchen or something so there's a little bit of privacy there. Um, furniture, sleeping spot. <laughs> oh man, this is going to be crammed in, huh? Uh, you are Setsuko. Right, there you go. And off you go. Go to bed whenever you're ready. We'll build you a proper bed soon, promise, when we've got this this room dealt with. Alright, there we go. That's looking pretty good. Um, these two are keeping their moods high, which is what I like to see. Look at this. Unbelievable. Even without the got married to jump, they're already on cloud nine. So they are there. They're on like cloud 10 or 11 now, my dude. This is insane. This is good. This is obviously a big step for the colony, but unfortunately, there's a lot of management that's just happened very, very quickly there in terms of building new buildings, obviously bedrooms, that type of thing, managing several different colonists as well. But we do have a nice niche field by having somebody who's good at mining and good at cooking and medicine as well. Cooking and medicine are kind of good two combos to have there because, you know, it's not like you want someone who's got high mining and growing because they're sort of stepping on their toes. It's not jobs that you could do simultaneously. Cooking, you know, cook as many meals as you want. You've got a lot of time kicking around there. And obviously you can prioritize, I, I think you can prioritize uh, medicine above that. So those two jobs are kind of a nice little combo because they don't, you know, like I said, step on each other's toes there a little bit too much. Cargo pods, uh, let's check it out. Let's see what we got. Let's send Jilp up for that. Oh, I should have not sent Jilp up for that because he's got inspired recruitment. Jilp, you go back to that. Setsuko, you're crap. Let's send you up instead. Okay, how are we doing? Pigs are happy. Pigs are going to eat the corpses. Fingers crossed. We could also build a cooler in there as well to keep those corpses nice and frozen. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's start Let's start with some war crimes. This series has been very war crime lacking right now. So I'm going to make a change you want to be in the world. Was it maybe be the change you want to see? I don't remember. The change I want to see, my friends, is uh, <laughs> pigs eating our, our enemies. That seems pretty fun. All right. Uh, how long until carpet making is done, Jilp? What are we doing? Oh, he's having a shower instead. Goku's died cause infection. Well, that sucks. Um... She sucks a lot. Could I have done much about that? We didn't really have any herbal medicine. I think that was pretty much rolling the dice, huh? Infection extreme. How close were they? 85% immunity. Honestly, if we had a bit more medicine, that could have been fine. But I'm, I'm kind of happy to have one new colonist and not two. Because already their mood is half-filled. And uh, mood is the deal-breaker. I know it's kind of a loss in terms of crafting. But I'm really not that concerned. 
I think we've got plenty of other people who will turn up with good crafting, so that's uh, that's not really that upsetting for me, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. I know it's kind of a loss there, and we could have probably micromanaged it to keep him alive, but already got enough to deal with. We've got enough on our plate. We've been served up enough by Randy that I don't want to be overextending, because overextending is what's killed the killed the campaign seven times before. So, I'm, I'm, now that we're taking it slow and steady, I mean, clearly we're being rewarded for it, seeing as this is the furthest we've got. A group of travelers from the Melia Republican Alliance, plus more food for the pigs. Pigs are going to be super happy about that one. Right. Um, what were those cargo pods as well? EMP grenades. Yeah, I'll take them. I'll take them. What the hell not? What the hell are those? Oh, it's the ugly rhinos. I remember. Uh, Joe, about that inspired recruitment. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, sorry. I remember he died. Yeah, I'm not smoothing these walls. That's too much of a time investment for a luxury that we just cannot afford. All right. Um, we're just going to go ahead and slate all these off. Uh, and how much are we looking at in terms of overhead mountain? I don't want to dig any out, because bug infestations are horrible at higher difficulties. Like, absolutely. Given how many series on this channel have ended thanks to bug infestations, I'm being super overly cautious in regards to those. Right, so let's do something like that, especially with Combat Extended as well. Until I'm a lot more confident with that, I'm not taking any risks here. Hey, uh, you can cancel off the, the wall smoothing. Oh, fuck's sake, I'm going to have to cancel it all out, aren't I? Ah, okay. Let's quickly go for... A little, bit of, a little bit of slate wall again. I know I'm going to cover over the iron there, but if we need any more iron, we'll just build a door through to the other side and uh, quickly mine it out as and when it's necessary. Again, overhead mountain. Kind of scares me a little bit. That thing scares me. Okay, there we go. Right, so we want to carpet all this area over. We'll divide it into rooms, bathroom, living room uh, for Jill and Lucas, and obviously uh, dining room as well. Recreation room if I feel like it. Get all of those. Get the mood bonuses out of that. So Tsuko can have this house here as the sort of temporary... Oh my god, more spacecraft. Uh, I'm not complaining, I'm going to be honest. Right, let's take a look here, see what we've got. Okay, whenever you're ready. Uh, wow, okay, so we've got one that gives gold, one that gives steel, or is that one silver? Great ship chunk is uh, precious silver, thank you. So we've got silver, gold, and obviously your standard ship chunks there. Let's queue those up and get that hauled as soon as possible as well. That's nuts. That's actually insane that, that we've been gifted so much more stuff here. Like I said, this additional ship parts mod... There's a lower chance of these other rarer ship parts appearing. We've always had green ship chunks with every time it's crashed, but we haven't always had the blue ship chunks. In fact, I think those have been the rarest so far. Um, but it, it, it doesn't alter the chance of, you know, uh, this event happening more. So I don't know why the hell we're getting it so frequently. I think it's just Randy Randall's being very generous during this early game. Maybe he knows about the other six campaigns that he killed. Why well, have we got a rotten cougar in the house? In Setsuko's bedroom. Playing... This is a Rimworld thing right here. That's what we're going to end it on. That has never been more Rimworld. A little bit of horseshoes over Jill and Lucas. Uh, Jill playing his own game of horseshoes there. Thank you all for watching. I suppose no, he'd be the one with the peg. Anyway, thank you all for <laughs> thank you all for watching or not, depending on what he's into. Let's move on quickly past this conversation. Thank you for watching. Big shout out to the insane top tier level patrons for making this series possible in the first place. A big thank you to Harik, Alpha Scuff, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Banyol, Sedini, Conspired T, Croesus, Escape, Facunda Vasquez, Hey Dog, Jimbo, Josh Lindine, Tesla, Michael Mullen, Necrophil, and Palvis Presley, Sean Thornton, Smurtworm, Tom Terror 18, Vacuous Backers, Wolf Center, and Zazzy 7011. Thank you all for support the insanity loves on patreon it's must much must what am i saying most appreciated i was gonna say much appreciated and most appreciated and it's sort of conglomerate so congratulations amalgamated a portmanteau a new word specifically for you guys that's what you get if you're an insane top tier level patrons new words to add to your uh, uh lexicon i guess big thank you as well to gray nathaniel Lindbergh, llewellyn thomas Asaro, betterman's max chris crazy pat david van diepen don don Connor two and seven gabriel van Ders, Gen genji zerka Gaz, Haji Dubar, Hancock, Harry McGowan, I See the Great, Jay Lehrer, James Barnes, Joran DeVries, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beard, Justin Plock, Nathan Flores, Matthew, Nick, Panther Pearl, people, <laughs> people for the ethical treatment of animals, Sir Thul Swede, Shari, who apparently has not been on this list again, blame Patreon, Wolfie, Zico, Adam Person, Sidini, Fraser Brennan, Noah Gallimore, and the Insane Pickle. Thank you all for your support on Patreon as well. Thank you for keeping the channel alive. 15,000 subscribers, wow. What a, what a great day. 15,000 subscribers. And I'm poor. The YouTube story. A YouTube story. Man, I wonder if, if like, National Geographic will ever make that. <clears throat> See you all next episode.